In the last 10 years, almost a million people have left New York City and the three states around it. New Jersey, Connecticut and Long Island are all part of this. Bloomberg, the source, says that about 300 people leave the area every day. But this trend is not just happening in New York. People are leaving other places too, like Los Angeles, Chicago and Washington DC, to live in other states. United Van Lines, which is a moving company, keeps track of the flow of people. So what's up with people leaving New York in a hurry? Stick around to find out and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our uploads. United Van Line says that New York, New Jersey and Connecticut, three states in the Northeast, are among the places where people move out of the fastest. The high number of people leaving these states makes sense for those who live there. The people are leaving because of the high cost of living, the state of the infrastructure and the high tax rates. Everyone who lives in New York City has to pay huge taxes. Check out the section below for a deeper look at the most common reasons why people are leaving New York. We'll look at the main reason why people are leaving New York in the next section. People are moving out of New York for many different reasons, such as the high cost of living, politics and lower taxes in other places. Living in New York is very appealing, but it comes with a cost. Yes, a lot of people move to and out of New York every year. If you moved to New York and got a steady job, you might think you have everything you need, but there is a chance that things will change for you. People think that certain jobs like banking or finance are made for New York, but many people still can't save money every month. The cost of living in New York, especially in the city, is not a big surprise. This seems to be the main and most important reason why people leave. People from New York seem to be moving to the suburbs to get a better financial situation. Everything costs more in New York than in any other state, including food, housing and taxes. People say that New York City is one of the most expensive cities, if not the most expensive. Prices are high because the economy is doing well and there are a lot of jobs. So if you feel like you have nothing left to give in New York, you might want to move somewhere else. It's clear that New York is a great place to look for work. Still, it's hard for many people to find their place in a city and state as big as New York. There is a lot of competition and it's not easy to find a good job. You'll need good connections and a lot of time to find a well-paid job in New York. If you want to start a small business, you shouldn't think about New York. Companies in New York are very competitive, so it would be better for you to work in another town or city. On every corner in New York, you can find grocery stores, antique shops and any other kind of store you can think of. People often say that New York is the city that never sleeps. This is true in a way. Unless you are a college student who wants to party all the time, or have the money to live in a fancy neighborhood, you might as well live above a bar or a local grill. It's almost impossible to find peace in New York, which is why so many people move there. People are also leaving New York because raising kids in the city has its pros and cons. If you don't have money problems and have a steady income, you should be able to find a good school for your children. New York is not, however, the safest city in the country. People leave in New York because of the environment and safety are a big reason why people are leaving. You and your family can do a lot of things for less money than in New York. Before moving out of the city, families need to think about all of their options. Politics is one of the last reasons people are leaving New York. The state is very different, which makes this part hard on its own. The truth is that New York's geography is red. Even so, almost half of the votes came from people living in New York City, and a Democrat won. Because of this, most red counties in New York are not happy that the Democrats are still in the lead. No matter what is trending, this is true. No matter what is trending, this is true. Most people are unhappy with the results of the election for governor. Those who want to leave New York should make plans before they leave. Whether or not you need help from professional movers will depend on the state, city or town you want to move to. You can move with the help of a reputable and good moving company. Some advice is to get all of your things ready before you move. If you live in a small apartment in New York City and are moving, you might be ready to go in a week. When you are moving a family, you need to be more organized. Families where the adults work from 9 to 5 should hire a moving company to help. If you and your family are moving to another state, there are many professionals who can help. All you have to do is find the right moving company and talk to them about prices you can afford. It will help you a lot in the long run. Reports say that the wealthy want to avoid paying income taxes in New York. Millionaires in New York pay the highest income taxes of any state in the country. Families, business owners and people just looking for work 
are among the others who are leaving the state. Like people in other expensive cities in the US, people in New York want to live in a place that costs less and has more space. Most of the people who left New York were people who made a lot of money. United Van Lines did a survey that showed more than half of the people leaving New York were over the age of 55. This information shows that older people want to move out of the city and state to retire. In another study, movers found that a lot of young couples and families were moving to the suburbs of New York because they had more green space and better schools. A news report said that out of all 50 states, New York was the third most popular state to move out of. People who left New York most often went to Florida and Texas. Research shows that most people left New York because of politics. They wanted to leave because of issues like climate change, high taxes, high cost of living, bad culture and bad weather. Most of the time, people from New York move to Florida because there is no state income tax there. Most of the year it's sunny and warm, and there are a lot of different cultures, outdoor activities, sports, and cheaper options. If you ask a new Florida resident, they will tell you that even though the summers are hot and humid, most of the other seasons are mild and warm. You won't need anything warmer than a sweater to stay warm in Florida during the winter. People in Florida spend less time inside because of the sun and warm days. Instead, they spend more time outside exploring what the state has to offer. People are leaving New York in large part because of this. Residents of Florida do not have to pay income tax to the state. Residents of Florida can save more money for fun activities, trips, and things because there is no income tax. People who are really thinking about leaving New York can look at reports about the city's population, housing market, quality of life, and other things to help them make a decision. People are leaving New York for many other reasons, but most of them are listed above. Do you or someone else you know want to leave New York? Let us know why in the comments down below and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed watching our video. See you soon on a brand new update.